Hello again. Uh, this is now a week after I've had my food-based uh, detox, so to say, um, based on Dr. Moore's, uh, Robert Moore's suggestion that one should just uh, eat lots of grapes or berries and stick to sort of fruits to clean out the body. Um, so I did five days of that. The initial two days were fine. I basically stuck to uh, get grapes and berries added occasional banana if I got really hungry or other fruits. I think on the third day I also had a salad. But to my concern and to my disappointment, I did not have a really positive outfit uh, of this. Some might say, yeah, well, your body was detoxing and getting rid of stuff, but it could be, it could be the case. But the fact is that I, on the third day, on the night to the third day, I woke up with asthma during the night which I hadn't had for now a long time since I stopped with wheat and dairy and that suddenly returned and um, also on the third and fourth day I started building up uh, co um, sl slime in my lungs or mucus in my lungs and I started coughing I had a constant sense of asthma throughout the day so uh, some re reactions perhaps I just did not feel good at the end of the week my nose was not getting better at all it's it's same so i can't say that this um fruit-based diet was sort of um doing good for me what's happening here with this light eh? it looks like shit lights well the sun's coming out but somehow my camera's not adjusting to it um yeah so i just want to give a bit of a warning to those that might want to head down that track um for most of you, it's probably going to be good to do it. You know, if you're eating unhealthy, I definitely recommend eating lots of fruits and berries and stuff like that. I've always ate a lot of vegetables and fruits and berries. So for me, it wasn't such a big deal to do just that for a couple of days. But the fact that I actually had negative reactions of it uh, sort of brings me to worry that I, maybe I have... Maybe I reacted on the fructose, like the sugar in the fruits, and that I have some sort of yeast infection in my body um, that's causing... Hey, I'm just turning whiter and whiter. What's with this camera? What's wrong with it? So there we go. <laughs> now I'm going red. Ah. Anyway, what I wanted to say, a bit of caution, you know, because the fruit might actually... Um, you know, the sugar might actually cause, if you have maybe a yeast infection in your body, maybe that causes like a blossoming of, of um, I don't know, more um, negative. <laughs> what do you want to say? I don't know what to say. Cut! <laughs> Basically, the sugar can uh, probably, if you have something eating on sugar like yeast or candida overgrowth, which might I might have, you know. Um, so I'm definitely going to see if I can find out if I have that or not. Um, that's the next goal. So I've stopped that fruit-based diet. I've returned to a normal diet. I'm still eating lots of vegetables and fruits, but I'm not just going to eat so much fruit just in, with the risk that that actually might be serving my yeast or fungus, if that's what I have. So that's all I wanted to say. Um, for everyone else thinking of doing this, Dr. Morris, Robert Morris, I still believe do it, you know, go for it. What's the worst thing that can happen is that you get a, if you have a yeast infection that maybe gets a signal that, hey, cut out the sugar. So yeah, that's sort of maybe the plan for me if I can manage to do that. I think I have to cut it out because I'm turning into a ghost. See you, bye-bye.